we're here at Class 1 Equipment, and we're looking at uh, a KLA 10 core 2139 that's been uh, fully refurbished and is in final test mode. Here we have a wafer being loaded. We're going to run you through what we've done to refurbishment and uh, scan a wafer here. So the wafer is loaded onto the stage and it's about to find the, either the flat or the notch and the, the graph will appear on the on the lower screen here. Uh, that's the, the, the successful flat notch uh, find. Uh, the next step uh, in the process of inspection is to low mag align. So on the upper monitor you'll see the, the, the low mag alignment uh, patches. The two on the, the extreme upper left are the reference patches which is in the actual recipe and the other ones to the right and below are what the system found, they're the candidate patches. The system's now going to go to high mag align, uh, in this case it's, it's high mag aligning at 0.25 micron and that's again found the, the high mag alignment patches. Again the, the two on the upper left hand corner are the, the reference patches within the recipe and the other ones are what the tool found, what we call the candidate patches. Once the tool is uh, aligned and it's, uh, it's happy with it, it actually will now set up what's called its sensitivity uh, parameters. So it's setting the, the pixel size that, has, that, uh, that we're running the, the inspection app, which is in this case 1.25. Um, on the upper left hand corner you'll see a, a, a patch, it's, it's, in this case it is black and white because it is a Kaylee 10 core. DSW 75.1, uh, it sets its alignment and then the tool starts to inspect. Um, you'll actually see the tool is actually scanning very, very quickly because it is 1.25 and we've set it for the demonstration purposes, we've set the, uh, the, the care area to be very, very small. Once the system has completed, uh, we'll go into review mode and we'll be able to look at the defects that the system found. So the, the recipe, is, uh, the, the, the inspection is completed and you now go and look at the upper monitor. We're going to go into what we call instant review. the mag from the inspection uh, from 1.25 to 0.25 because you actually see the defect um, more clearly. So just to give you an example of the typical defects that the system can find, a lot of these defects are quite large because they're 1.25 micron and greater. Typically concludes the, uh, the, the a successful inspection run of the, the KLA 2139. Can you speak towards uh, our refurbishment process and what we've looked at, what we've uh, performed on the system? Yeah, what we do with the system is typically class one bring the tool into uh, into the clean room and we um, we look for all the usual typical parts of the system that generally will have wear and tear over a over a period of time and we go through a, the standard uh, refurbishment program and then we will go into the system in more detail to find and look for any further wear and tear areas of the tool and um, we do a replacement of typically the a number of the power supplies that we, that we know will fail over a, a number of years. We change the, both the upper and the lower monitor, the keyboards, the mice, the tripod, uh, typically the fans, and, uh, and then we set up the tool, we calibrate it, and we run both the, the conformance tests and the matching tests to, uh, to Kaylee's uh, spec. Okay, well thank you. Uh, that's a nice overview of uh, this uh, Kaylee 2139 uh, wafer inspection system. And uh, as we uh, complete our, our final tests here, and the uh, next step is to have it uh, locked down for transport and shipment to its, uh, its new customer.